Hello folks, uh, today this is uh, 2021 October November paper 11 and the question number is uh, 38. As uh, the diagram shows, it is uh, about uh, current electricity. It says that potential differences across two resistors of resistances R1 and R2 are compared using a potentiometer wire, uniform resistance wires. Of course, it should have uh, uh, cross, uniform cross section which makes uh, the resistance uniform in the electric circuit is shown circuit shown here one terminal of a uh, galvanometer is connected to point x point x the galvanometer reads a zero when its uh, other terminal is connected to a point that is at a distance of 60 centimeter from one end of the person so that means it is balanced at a length of 60 centimeter so it means that it means that uh, uh, the PD across this this thing, the PD across this thing, is equal to PD across this thing at this time if it is balanced here. So uh, the other terminal, one terminal of the second galvanometer is connected to point Y. This galvanometer reads zero when its other terminal is connected to a point that is uh, a distance of eighty centimeter, so eighty centimeter from the same another position matter. So that means. Uh, at this time since it's balanced the pd here is this pd here is equal to this pd here at that time so from these things we have to calculate what is the ratio r2 by r1 we have to find the ratio r2 by r1 so first let us just consider this thing without caring for this part without caring for this part let us just care for this part so that this part will be this part will be <coughs> part will be like this so so here what we have is this v1 this v1 should be equal to should be equal to some constant into this length which is 60 centimeter some constant into 60 and this v1 should be equal to this is v1 should be equal to it is uh, it is equal to uh, let's the emf here is equal to e it should be equal to v1 is v1 is equal to r1 by r1 by r1 plus r2 r2 into e is equal to k into 60 centimeter centimeter then <coughs> then we have to go through the other one which is which is which is uh, let us go through this let us consider this thing here <coughs> this thing so let's consider the whole thing here if i consider the whole thing here what happens is we should have we should have we should have uh, v2 <coughs> so this is uh, this whole thing is v2 let us say uh, v2 is equal to is equal to k into 80 it is k into 80 and this whole v2 is equal to simply e this e is equal to k into 80 k into 80 so if I divide these things, divide this equation by this equation, I will have, I will have, so R1 by R1 plus R2 into E, into E by, this E is equal to K60 by K80, so it will be K and K gone, 60 by 80 is equal to 3 by 4, and we have, again, we will have, 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 this e and e will be gone so this gives us r1 by r1 plus r2 is equal to 3 by 4 equal to 3 by 4 so it should give us it should give us now 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 so that means this r1 by r total is equal to 3 by 4 if so then we must have r2 by r4 if so then we must have let me rub it so if so we must have we must have we must have r2 by r total r total should be equal to 1 by 4 if the proportion of r1 is uh, uh, 3 4 of this whole r then the remaining this uh, r2 should be equal to 1 by 4 so this gives us r2 by r1 is equal to equal to uh, R1 is equal to so it should be 1 is to 3 so the answer should be should be should be choice number A correct answer